Welcome back to another episode of Gabriel Dropout, because we all need more of the Fallen Angel. And, well, actually, well, all of them have been reversed in their personalities quite a bit, haven't we? We've got the more than angelic demon, the more than demonic angel, and Satania. <laughs> She's in a category of her own, isn't she? She is Satania. So, let's see how they decide to bully her this time. <laughs> the dog's already stolen her melon bread. We've got a man very refined in his craft. And very proud of it as well. How are they going to insult him? <laughs> How did anyone convince her to get a job? Her having a job is more surprising than her in the outfit, to be fair. <laughs> Why did the dog already have Satonia's melon palm? Although, why am I even pretending to be surprised at that fact? Gotta put on the airs and graces of actually pretending to care about getting dressed and going outside. Okay, put it bluntly, nice. <laughs> Maybe don't spend all the money on microtransactions then. <laughs> Not quite what you said. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, she doesn't understand Japanese. That would be the, that'd be the reason behind it. Despite the fact that you had a conversation a few seconds ago. <laughs> he is, uh, so help hopeful, isn't he? Is she even going to be able to take an order, though? Probably. You? Yeah, sure, but... And she expects to be paid for this? That's nothing like what she said. <laughs> nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Lay it on thick there. <laughs> that is entirely how I sound when I practice Japanese, to be fair. Cannot do it. I say the same thing while at work as well, so yeah. Sometimes honesty is good. Of course not, this is just a job. He loves his coffee, he's very proud of it. Is this going to be the final straw? A specialised coffee establishment. I wonder how many customers he actually gets. Hmm. Her palate isn't going to be quite as refined. Not even any uh, sugar or anything. Even though she's next to useless, the fact that she wants to stay impressed him. Unfortunately, th that is how society seems to be moving, isn't it? The employees get to decide everything. Jesus. Stop being a pushover, dude. <laughs> Although he doesn't particularly need the help, he's had one customer all day. <laughs> nice. PAP. But so she's good at sports and at her education. <laughs> Stalker in training. Okay. Yeah, what kind of beings is heaven pumping out then? Mm-hmm. Of all of them, these two have spent the least time together. Plus her expression the entire time, you can never tr tell what her true feelings are, can you? Of course, to play these mind games. <sighs> that is just her personality, isn't it? Her character, her mask slipped, didn't it? Never-ending story, and I'm guessing Titanic. Let me guess, tortures and horrors. <laughs> uh... 
Okay. I've never tried putting English subtitles on English stuff. Might try that now. Hmm. It goes mouldy. Yes, stagnant water. Well done. I mean, even I, with my base level knowledge of household chores, know that. No, I, yeah, I, this is where I relate to Raffi there. Horror films and whatnot don't really phase me in that way that other people do. Oh no, you got to make sure the door's locked. Why? Mummies don't actually exist, you know. Of course, Russian roulette. <laughs> Why exactly, though? Hmm. And if no one picks it, then they split it. Oh, so you added a... I thought you were going to add a new level to it, but no, you were just... Exemplifying how spicy. <laughs> what a saying. Yeah. <laughs> Strawberries. Very good. Is it because your game failed or because you got the spicy one? It's because your game failed. <laughs> so who's... Who's going to get the spicy one? You're going to take it home, Arthur. Wait a minute. So Tanya likes spicy stuff. Ha ha! You failed! She never misses a chance, does she? <laughs> oh yeah, she wasn't in the, f in the uh, food prep class thing, was she? Okay. <laughs> you really have to build up the courage to go into a coffee shop. Not, not how you meant to greet customers. <laughs> Did you just physically assault that person? <laughs> Even so. friend. Hmm. She's enjoying this a bit too much, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, we know, oh, we already know Gabriel's, uh, Affinity for trying to end things with violence. Or the eradication of mankind. <laughs> oh, he's gonna love this, isn't he? Because he's... And, yes, Tony don't care. Plus, she's taste deaf. 
<laughs> that's the that's his, what his uh, favourite time of the day, isn't it? Look at him fret over in the background. I'm glad I don't have a public service job. (laughs) Her wrist is trembling under the weight of the sugar. Don't spill it on her. How much of this is just messing with Satania and how much is actually just Gabriel? Is he going to retire after this one day? (laughs) I'm guessing they mean a devil, a baker's dozen. Thirteen, if you if you don't have that phrase. Are we going to get a coffee lover of Satanya? She took so long to deliver it, it's cold. That as well is a bit of an acquired taste. I didn't like tea or coffee until I was like 18. And now that he's almost given up hope, we have the light in the darkness that is the demon Vigne. I was afraid he was about to scare her off. (laughs) He could die happy now. And he gets to say his spiel. Is he going to fire Gabriel and hire her? Just be glad you had uh, gone in the first place. Britain doesn't really get that hot, so we don't need it. I don't think you can surprise it into working. Glad to see that keeping the uh, place tidy was high on her agenda. Oh, we've got... Saitama all over again. (laughs) Do mosquitoes care about holy auras? Is she going to end up poisoning herself? (sighs) You're getting yourself in a heap of trouble now, aren't you? Good thing she can take a beating! (laughs) Damn! 
You got knocked the fuck out. Nice. Did she actually walk through the uh, town in her uh, angelic garb? Hmm. She can't have a little bit of tact, even when stealing cold air. Why would she want to enjoy want that? Just because. Okay, I know about censoring, but Jesus Christ. I mean, that's a clever way around of doing it. Hmm. So not only is she a hopeless MMO addict, but she's also slightly creepy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite glad that I don't have uh, mosquitoes if that's what you have to go through to mm -hmm. I mean that was obvious <laughs> yeah go home already Uh, laptop and games. Oh, also Tanya. Does anyone want to actually check on her? You would have thought a passerby or maybe a neighbour would have seen a girl completely out cold and actually called an ambulance or something. Or maybe the whole uh, keep to yourself thing in Japan is that intense. I mean, it's getting that way in uh, Britain, to be fair. Well, it's record it with your phone first, but then keep to yourself. So we got a bit of work ethic in this one, didn't we? How not to do your job. You know, unless you can get away with it, and in this case you can, so. To be fair, that kind of attitude is pretty much where I'm at at my job. But I've been there for five years now, so I'm I can get away with it. On your first day, maybe not so much. Some nice little callbacks as well with the spicy food and Zatanya being, well, both liking it and being taste deaf. Um, and Vinier being likened to an angel once again because, well, she can actually appreciate good coffee. It's not coffee, it's tea, but still. <laughs> what is it anyway? Not entirely sure, I think like a breakfast blend or something. Appropriate considering the time. Quite a few little cutaways and side stories in this one, not anything really to get into. Um, it was nice to see Raphael's plans getting shut down for once. 
Oh, here's another opportunity that I can get Satania. Oh, wait. She likes it. But Satania had already gone through enough this episode. I mean, right at the beginning, I'm guessing that was her thread that was stolen. I don't really see how... Well, I don't really know where they can go in this show. Because I don't really believe there's going to be a lot of character development. It's just one of those ones where... Here's some people that are stupid. Let's throw them together, see what comes out of it. So as long as I keep that surface enjoyment, then should get on fine. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed Gabriel Dropout, episode 3, uh, exploration into the wonders of true good coffee. I haven't really come across any so far, but then again, good ground coffee is uh, few and far between. Especially considering how expensive everything is over in Britain. <sighs> Hopefully you enjoy the episode, and if you have a job, or if you're looking to get a job, don't take advice from Gabriel. That's that's my takeaway from this episode. If you want to support me and the channel, make sure to leave a like, and, well, join in any discussions down below in the comment section that you want to, because really, <laughs> these videos are... I make these videos for you to enjoy, so as long as that's going on, I'm happy. And since we've reached that time, once again, I'm going to have to bid you adieu, get some rest, and I'll see you in the next one.